All right, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit a subscribe and a thumbs up. Today we'll be tackling valve covers, spark plugs. No, not valve covers. Valve cover gaskets and spark plugs on the 98 Land Cruiser. Uh, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be obviously working on the Land Cruiser as you guys can see in the background. Um, today we're going to do some maintenance work. Uh, like I mentioned in one of my first videos and, and some of my other videos is that the key thing here is maintenance. Some of the aesthetics and performance stuff, whatever, that snorkel, the grill, I mean those are great but if you don't have a well maintained vehicle, don't expect it to go past, you know, a certain amount of mileage without busting. So, you know, I went ahead and ordered from What's end? Uh, I ordered the valve cover, valve cover gaskets, uh, the spark plug plugs, uh, sorry the seals, and it also comes with new bolts. So I was one of the guys uh, in my Instagram said, hey, make sure you go to What's end because they actually include a full package valve covers, seals, plug seals, uh, PCV valve as well. Sorry, and new bolts as well for the valve covers. Hey, might as well get it all in one spot, so make sure to go check out Wits End. Uh, I bought this stuff, they didn't send it to me, so I just thought it would be cool if you could just get it all at once. And while we were there, I picked up some I also picked up at my local uh, um, parts store, and you could get all this stuff below on my link as well, my description. So if you want to get some of the stuff, Click on my description below. Um, I also got some Denso's uh, SK20 R11s too. So um, I did look into the OEM uh, Toyota, uh, but it was going to be about 14 bucks a plug. Um, I'm sure I could have got them online cheaper, but I went down the street uh, to my local uh, parts store and I picked up pretty much the same replacement Denso's uh, SK20 R11s. And then also we're going we're gonna to be using some Ultra Black uh, gasket maker. Uh, maximum oil resistance for the valve cover, uh, some of the edge uh, in the front of the valve covers, uh, some of the videos and some of the other forms that I've seen. Uh, I recommend to put a little bit of gasket sealer on there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and knock this out. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Make sure to hit a subscribe and a thumbs up on this video and appreciate you guys watching. One of the first things I'd like to do is just to disconnect the battery just because we're disconnecting um, some wiring. Uh, just for the safe side, might as well just disconnect it. The negative. One of the things I like to do is label all the stuff I remove just because you never know and I also took a picture of it just in case I do get mixed up with anything. I really doubt it but just in case labeling each uh, spark plug uh, wire uh, or connector uh, any hoses and stuff like that that might move out of the way I'm gonna label them just for a reminder so you know good tip again I'm not a mechanic this is just for fun I'm, uh, you know just a car enthusiast that does stuff at home. So first we're going to remove some hoses, is these two top hoses, uh, these are pretty simple, they usually it's just a hose clamp and just wipe it, pull it right out. So I'll get these two hoses out the way, put it over here. It's a good time to replace some of these hoses too if, if you have them. Uh, remove that out of the way, we're going to remove this bracket here, we're going to loosen this bracket with the 10 millimeter. Make sure you uh, put these aside where you're not going to kick them or lose them. This is going to be the plugs themselves. Put them to the side. It's always good to have work gloves too. It makes things, uh, be able to grip things easy. This uh, clip holds on to this ground here and it holds on to the, to this as well. Be careful of these rubber seals, um, make sure that just they don't fall off. So just put these to the side. And I'm going to just take off this ground here just so that it gives us clearance from the, from the valve cover once we remove it. Put this down here. This over here. 
or you could disconnect it as well, uh, whatever is easier for you. Disconnecting would probably be the easier bet, but if you don't want to have to <coughs> remember which one is which, you could just leave it on there. There we go. Just a little wiggle. And I think this is this one's been replaced because you could tell it's not an OEM uh, Toyota. So the maybe maybe I won't need to replace the spark plugs. I think they might have replaced them already, but hey, just in case we have them here. The back one is, is hitting up against here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to release this bracket here so maybe we can move this hose over a little bit just to give us enough room to 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 move it out the way and maybe this is not the right way to do it but I mean whatever works for you and just remember to put stuff back so after just removing this line right here just to give me enough room to to get this uh, plug out I was able to just again remember to keep these um, with these. Just a quick recap, we went ahead and disconnected the ground wire from here. Uh, we all remove all these. I, I removed that bracket from, I moved this bracket off and so I could be able to move this hose. I could get a, uh, to this. Um, so I was able to get this out. So we're pretty much good here. It looks like the only issue that I might have is the harness and we might be able to remove it from that clip. Uh, back there there's a clip uh, but next is removing this one to give us some space from the valve cover and the PVC pipe and we should be able to unbolt each individual um, bolts which should be one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten it should be ten so let's move on forward Another great way not to lose bolts is to put them back where they, where you, where you removed them from. Um, and then just so that you know that that's where it went. Yeah. What's good about Witten again is that they send you new, new bolts, the whole package deal, so you don't have to worry about ordering this separate. But it's good to have these brand new as well. So these two right here were easier to get through the bottom of the wheel, uh, fender well, so that was easier. And then this top one, it was easier to break uh, through the top. So the first one and the last one were easier from the top, and the, these two were easier from right in the, the fender well. Very simple, very easy. Like I said, the hardest part is just having to work around all the hoses. I, I was able to loosen up this uh, back clip back in the back, so that gives us a lot more wiggle room to get this bad boy out. And I think that's nothing nothing else in our way so let's do this Get the hoses out the way and just like that we have liftoff here is the valve cover here are the seals they might have well the well, seal stayed on there as you guys can see there was seal uh, lubricant already on here so I don't know if they've already done this uh, prior to that or if this was OEM you guys might be able to tell me better uh, again I'm just a pro beginner so uh, you could tell it was there's silicone already here and there was some silicone back here as well so per a lot of the videos they say just put silicone right at the front of the head and right in this area so we're gonna go ahead and clear this out let's pull the let's put this over here they might have already had done this because this is not brittle at all but it was leaking oh well, I guess it is you guys can see here let's see if it, if it zooms in it does crack so at one point it had been replaced the car has 207,000 miles so I don't know the recommendation as far as um, how often you should change these but you can see that it will crack just like that so you'll you will get a leak they had put some gasket sealer there you can see that some at the bottom but you can see also I mean I could be wrong it's just because the valve covers off but you can see some buildup right here so I don't know if there was enough gasket sealer on here so we want to make sure we get this whole corner right here 
um, with gasket sealer right up to the right up to the edge from here to probably right here. So this whole corner, and again to, on the top side as well. But I mean, I'm not a mechanic. Everything looks pretty good. And again, we'll be removing the the spark plugs to see if that's the case. But we are going to clean around the edges, put a cover on it, uh, towel. And again, I don't know, and I don't think I should put sealer in the back. Um, you guys can see it, but there was sealer in the back installed in this one, so. Alright, so next we're gonna, uh, now, now that I have the whole bath cover super cleaned, and the head cleaned, um, look at this thing is clean. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove these. And from other people's videos, they said just lift up the tabs, and then you just kind of tap them back down, and that's how you get these seals out. So let's go try and do that. We're gonna do it with the needle nose plier, see if that works. If that doesn't work, then we'll try with something else. Maybe a flathead. There we go. I found the way. So you, if you go at the bottom of the uh, of the seal and you just push up on it, it's easier. Found the trick. Hopefully that works for you guys as well. So now that was easier than having to rip the whole thing. So as you can see, there's a flat surface, and just put your screwdriver underneath and pop it right up. Now we could do the, all of the other ones. And just like that and remember which way you pull them out so you put the other ones back the way they were so I'm gonna do all these three and I'm gonna keep one on there for, just for reference purposes but let's uh next film next clip will be all of them done and maybe I'll show you how to put them down so I've removed all the plugs the circular gaskets for the plugs uh, these are the way they sit so flat surface flat surface uh, down and this little indentation will go up. I cleaned everything out with, I've been using some brake cleaner. So put it on the rack, wiped it around. Now, now it's time to open up the new gasket. And put them in there, again, flat surface. Well, if you can see, it used to be flat. So the flat surface side, it's gonna go down and the and the tension is going to go up. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little old school. Maybe it doesn't need it, but I like to dip my finger in some oil just so that it kind of lubes the, the rubber or the seal. I mean, I don't think you have to do that. Uh, call me old school, call me maybe this is the wrong way, but just, it's just a little bit. And I'm not really soaking it in it. I'm just kind of dialing it in it putting some in there as you can see my hand it's not completely drenched so we're going to go ahead and drop these in just slightly tap nothing big Driver side gasket per uh, the research has done uh, part number uh, one one two one four five zero zero one eleven is the driver side. So okay, this is done. We're gonna go ahead and put uh, some silicone on the head. I know one of the biggest things that I was always uh, questioning when I was doing this is where to install it. So I'm gonna, as you can see the gasket come around this corner, uh, I'm just gonna put it right where the little hump goes and to this corner right here so that it seals in this corner. So um, I'm assuming that's the same position on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that now.
and the bottom I'll do it from the underneath the car. Okay, let's put the valve cover on. And we still have to replace the, the PVC pile, but I'll do that once the valve cover's uh, bolted down. All this is set. It is set. We'll replace the spark plugs right now once we tighten it down. Bolt numbers are part number 9008010330. Uh, this is come with the back cover, where well, they come with the seals. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten them by hand first, and then we're gonna work a crisscross pattern. I don't know if that's the right way or backwards, but I just want to be able to make sure that they're equally tight. <laughs> Hand tight, and I didn't I didn't zoom you guys out. So what I ended up doing is, um, you know, going from one to cross crisscross patterns. I started from the outside in, um, and then I did this last one, and they're all hand tightened by uh, just with my hand, so they're not been torqued down yet. Unfortunately, I do not have a torque wrench, so. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly tighten them. I'm not going to over exaggerate them. As you can see, I'm not using a big uh, socket, so I'm not going to be cranking on it. And we're going to go ahead and start from here. So they were all tight enough and we're set to go. Let's get this PVC valve out. I almost have it all completely out. There we go. So this is the old one. You guys can kind of see the gunk in there. And we're gonna replace the seal as well. So let's take the seal off, take this, and then we have a new one right here. Also provided in the, out from width's end package. So we got the new one here. Drop right in. Here the new one here. Drop right in. Perfect. This is all set. Put a little oil around it. Um, now we're gonna remove the va the spark plugs. All right. So this is from uh, from the first cylinder there. Uh, they're just dirty. They're obviously, they're Denso as well. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it with Denzos as well. So you could tell they're worn out, but they look pretty good. I mean, better to replace them now. So we're gonna go ahead and replace them, remove them, and replace them. So here's the first uh, set of spark plugs. Time to change them. I'm sure it's gonna run a lot better now. Time is running out. I'm gonna go ahead and whip this up, and then uh, we're gonna work on the other side tomorrow because it's gonna start getting dark. I have to run some errands. Um, yeah, lock this up and then I'll see you guys on the next, on the other side. Welcome back, it's the next day and we're gonna tackle the, we're gonna tackle the passenger side. Uh, we already did the driver's side, uh, you guys, as you guys saw. Uh, one thing I didn't uh, show you guys is that I did add the PVC uh, valve little grommet cover thingy right here and uh, yeah. Plugged everything back, the whole side should be good. And uh, good for another, I don't know, 100,000, 80,000, depending on the valve covers. And obviously we did also the spark plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle this side. First and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and take out the air box to access it. So I'll remove the air box and access the valve cover. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so loosen this part up. These are pretty simple. Uh, they should just snap right out. Obviously be careful, a lot of this stuff is brittle. And of course, when I'm on camera, it doesn't come out like it should. There you go. Uh, these over here, clamp right here, pull it out. 
eventually I'm going to replace all these lines because they uh, are starting to get a little, little brittle. That's why I know I want to use a just set of pliers just to equally remove it. Got that out. Now two 10 millimeters at the bottom. Unclip these, unplug your, my, make sure your battery is disconnected as well. Unplug that plug, mass air sensor. There's actually a hose over here. Yeah, there's a hose over here. That should just come right off, just like that. Everything else is unplugged. So we'll just slowly get this out. That's how you get that complete air box out. And as you guys can see, I have a K&N drop-in filter as well. So now let's work on this side. So now that, that we have the air box removed, uh, I also label it on this side, one, two, and three, and four, just in case. And as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, uh, oil residue on the top. Uh, no major leaks through there, but the main leak uh, I was seeing is obviously through the front. You don't see it in the back part. Uh, you can see a little bit of the stain there, but that's after I had already cleaned the motor uh, on this side. And obviously the air box was on it, so I wasn't able to clean this side, but we'll go ahead and clean this valve cover as well, like as we did the other one. You guys can see the other one looks nice and cleaner. So let's go ahead, first and foremost, remove these uh, <coughs> spark plug coils. We're gonna go ahead and remove these first, and then we're gonna actually, but this time around, I'm gonna replace the, the spark plugs while we're here beforehand. So this plug right here goes across the valve cover. So there's a, a screw that's right underneath the, the clip that there that's down here. You could even unclip it, or you could just do what I did and was remove the, the the bracket from the from the head and obviously this also oops don't want to lose this one it looks like it just there we go oh so we just gotta make sure that we keep this plug um so once we unplug these then it makes the, this get out of the way so there's a bolt down here just so you guys know We might have to undo this back harness. There's a bolt back here to, to allow us to get to the last valve cover bolt. All the bolts were re uh, removed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, now we should be able to just pop this bad boy out. There we go, it's a little tap. We almost there. There we go. Now we just gotta make sure that we clear our, our harness, our wires. is out there we go now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did together we're gonna clean around the edges on this side as well you can see that there was um, some silicone on the edges as well so we're gonna go ahead wipe this down clean it um, and clean the valve cover to make it clean uh, let's look at this gasket compared to the other one uh, let's look at the 
parts where it tends to leak. So as you guys can see, there's more oil sitting right on the edge here. Um, I just was able to crack it by itself. So, you know, good thing we're replacing this. I'm gonna remove the uh, O-ring gaskets and obviously I pull the tabs up and then we're gonna pop them out and replace those as well. I won't take up too much of the time. So we're gonna do the same process that we did the first one on the driver's side. Tube seals are in there, uh, the uh, spark plug gaskets are in there. So just tapped it back in to place the little tabs. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the passenger side. Um, 11, 12, 13, dash 50031 for the passenger side and put it on there. Now, just like that, we have the valve cover gasket seal around it. All this is set. Now we just got to put a little dab on the corners on the front end of silicone gasket sealer on the top and bottom and this should be ready to go and wrapped up. While we're here and have a little easier access I should have done on the other side is remove the spark plugs. Spark plug number one looks the same as the other ones so same conditions so that they weren't too bad. And just like the other side, we're going to go ahead and use a Denso SK20 uh, R11, um, just like a OEM uh, asked for. So we're going to go ahead and put these bad boys in there. So now we're going to go use the same um, ultra black silicone uh, gasket maker uh, on the top part and on the bottom part right here. Now that we got the gasket maker on there, we're going to go ahead and put the valve cover on. Make sure that the, the seal is still on perfectly. Looks like it. So now we flip it over. Okay. On point. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the screws and screw them on by hand tight. Um, I'm just going to tie it all equally and then put this back together and we should be done. And just like that, it's all buttoned up and ready to go. All we have to do is, ah, one more thing. Connect the ground back and let's start it up. And then I'll, I'll give you guys my overall thoughts on the whole project of the valve cover gaskets that everybody dreads. Well, I'm sure there's timing covers uh, is the, the, the one that everybody dreads, but you know, the do-yourself guys like us, the valve covers. So, let's start her up. Okay, we're done. I appreciate you guys watching. And if, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and a subscribe. And also share it if you have anybody else that uh, needs to do this. Uh, the valve cover gasket, spark plugs, and... Yeah, um, make sure to share it with them as well because I appreciate it. Uh, well, I appreciate it. And what else? I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, skill 1 to 10 uh, of difficulty. I don't consider myself a mechanic. Uh, I know how to wrench, but not extremely. I'd probably say, uh, again, it's harder to film and wrench at the same time. I would probably say skill uh, of, of hard uh, from 1 to 10 I'd probably say that's probably a six, maybe a seven. So if it wasn't very difficult, 
Um, obviously, the driver's side uh, was a little bit more uh, difficult because you have to remove some stuff, get around some hoses and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's uh, pretty simple. Obviously, the passenger side was a lot simple. Um, I drove it around. Uh, seems fine. Tomorrow, I'll drive it around again. The neighborhood, obviously, we're limited to what we can do uh, in the current state of, of the situation that's going on. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, I'm going to drive it to make sure there's no leaks. I don't think there would be, but uh, also make sure if you want to know part numbers or if you want to pick up a kit, I'm going to put that all in the description below. Um, if you want to support your uh, your boy and you want to buy it from Amazon, I'll put individual Amazon part numbers. I'll make sure to put their link uh, in the description as well so you can just pick up a whole package. So I appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, I think we're out next uh Let's see what we'll do next. Maintenance. Always maintenance.